your ACU Wildcats taking on the Wolves from Western Oregon. Second straight home game at Shotwell Stadium. Perfect weather for some fall football. Players ready to get this thing underway, and it couldn't have started any better for the Wildcats as they recover a Western Oregon fumble on the third play from scrimmage. That sets them up with great field position for their first drive. Gale looked very good early as he hits Taylor Gabriel to put the Wildcats inside the five. Reggie Brown takes over. They get it off, up the middle, Reggie into the end zone, touchdown. Brown's first TD of the year, but the Wolves went to respond. Dockey is going to hand off the hand, running wide and touched into the end zone until he's crossed the plane. That ties things up at seven apiece, but Gale back in business finds Hogg for a quick 16, and it's Daryl time. And it's a kick down to Daryl, 25, Locker Road running, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Daryl Richardson. 22-yard scamper puts the Wildcats up by seven. Wolves, though, pounce back. There by the tight end. Buki, he's going to break the tackle and get into the end zone. Touchdown, Western Oregon. 14 all after that score. A couple of drives later, Gabriel returns a punt and almost breaks free. Remember that play, folks. Nice return, which sets up the Cats in Western Oregon territory. Gale decides to take care of things himself. Five. Gale, hold the middle, going to pick it and run it. Gale, move forward into the end zone. Touchdown. 21-14 Cats, and Lineberry adds a field goal to make it a 10-point game. Fireworks were only just beginning. Ozaki, 24-14, play action. All day to throw, go deep down the field, wide open, and the corner, 25-20, touchdown, Western Oregon. No flags on the field, and just like that, it's 24 with the extra point ending. Wolves quickly cut the lead to three while burning the ACU secondary, but Darian Hogg answers with a great catch of his own. And it is Touchdown pushes the lead back to 10 at 38-28. But remember when I told you to keep in mind Gabriel's punt return skills? Well, here's why. By Gabriel at the 45-50. And he tries to decide what he wants to do. Tries to go outside to the 50-yard line. Gets one block down the near side. That's Gabriel's second career return touchdown. And how about one more highlight from the win? Gale finds Daryl Cantu Harkless for a 61-yard catch and run to the house. That seals the win for the Wildcats. Final score, Wildcats 51, Wolves 35. Here is quarterback Mitchell Gale's thoughts on the offensive explosion. This is what was possible, you know. If we, if we played a clean game and we're efficient in what we were supposed to be doing and protected the ball, you know, we knew that we knew that something like this could is possible. And so, I mean, it's, it's great to finally, I think, I think this will help us understand that that not only are we capable of doing this, but like we can do this week in and week out. And so I think it's going to be a big step for our offense.